Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out the new Emax RS1106 series motors and they come in three uh, variations. There's a 4500 kV, a 6000 kV, and a 7500 kV. I'm going to take a quick look at these motors and some of the specs and I'll give you some uh, thrust stand data that uh, Emax provided to me in this video, but I'll um, be putting cards up in the corner here for the actual uh, flight day or, or, or flight demos because uh, I'm going to be putting these into various builds and then those videos are going to be coming a little later. Uh, by the time this video comes out it's probably not going to be in stores yet uh, but, but will be very soon. I'm not 100% sure when they're going to be released but I'm I think they're, they're still not quite out yet but I just wanted to uh, get this video out and then uh, have cards in the corner for the flight demos and the builds for where these are going to be going into. Uh, I'm going to be putting the 6000 kV into the new um, Airblade Eclair V2 for a 2.5 inch build. And uh, let's take a quick look at the motor here. They all pretty much look the same. I looked at them and I can't tell the difference uh, in terms of what any differences are. The same size and everything. This is the 6000 kV version. You can see right there, 6000 kV. They have um, two different hole uh, mounts for the propeller. They have the ones for the standard propellers that everyone uses for these 1100 size motors. And then they have the ones for the Baby Hawk props, the 2.3 inch props, the proprietary ones. So they're going to keep on making those props, but uh, they went back to the standard prop uh, for the other, other two holes, which is great. The uh, holes in the bottom are standard uh, mounting holes for the 1100 series motors, so uh, they got rid of that proprietary screw. It was like a one, what, M1.8 or something like that. It's back to an M M2 screw. Speaking of the screws, they give you uh, four different bags of screws for every motor, which is nice. And uh, various sizes. I, I don't know what millimeter lengths they are. I didn't measure them, but uh, they give you a whole bunch of different options here in case you're going to be soft mounting them or if you have a 3 millimeter frame or 4 millimeter frame, for example. So here's just a quick look at some of the specs here. It's a you know, 6,000 kV motor. you got a, a length of 14.5 millimeters, diameter of 14.2 millimeters. Saying that this is uh, for two cells only, but I'm pretty sure that I can do three cells on this motor because I've flown some other 1106 6000 kV motors on a two and a half inch prop on 3SM without any issues in terms of heat. So I'm pretty sure these will be just fine. These are probably conservative numbers. And uh, it's saying a max thrust of 220 grams, but I don't know what prop that is. Probably a two inch prop or I'm not sure. It says here it'll go a two to three inch prop. So um, I'll have to get that actual thrust stand data with uh, thrust with uh, wood prop it's uh, going with and also amp amp draw so I haven't gotten that yet but I'll put that in in this video here at some point uh, the weight of this motor is seven grams so I'm gonna actually weigh it uh, on my scale just to confirm this is the specs for the 4500 kV it's the same uh, it says there's different thrust numbers here because it's saying this is 2 to 3s so I'm assuming that 265 is on 3s and the 220 here is on 2S only, so obviously we got to get some clarification on these numbers, but uh, you can see that the other other specs are similar. The 7500 kV motors didn't come with a sticker on them, so I can't show you that. Here's the uh, 4500 kV motor. As you can see, it uh, looks the same. It just says 4500 kV on there. And then this is the uh, 7500 kV motor. Again, that looks pretty much the same. Something I noticed that uh, uh, kind of like on all Emacs motors, their motor wires are short for uh, what you would typically see. I, I know, and I know that like a lot of the DOS the motors, the recent ones, are the wires are a lot longer and the gauge is a lot thicker. So I don't know what gauge this is. It's not printed on here. But I think this is probably like 24, not even 24, probably 26 or 28 gauge. Pretty thin. It is silicone, so it, it's flexible. I don't know what it's going to look like if you cut it off in here, if it's, if it's going to be copper or if it's going to be braided. Um, but 
I'm not going to be cutting this because on this frame that I'm going to be putting these on, you can see if I if I mount it like this, it'll barely reach the center stack here. And normally I like to have them a little longer, and I can run them sort of around the standoff, and then and then uh, underneath, and then uh, from the inside to the solder pad, so this makes it a lot cleaner. Also, with uh, with that going underneath like that, it's less likely to get snagged by something. Whereas now I'm going to have to put it up on uh, coming in from the side and there's going to be a little bit of a gap between the bottom of the carbon and the uh, form on ESC, so it was gonna, it's a chance that it can get snagged. So I'd recommend to Emacs if they could uh, lengthen up the wires maybe another inch or an inch and a half would be pretty good, I would say. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and weigh this and see if it's actually seven grams. So it's a little over seven grams, seven and a half grams. So I guess their scale might be a little bit different than mine. So as I mentioned, I'll be putting the uh, 6,000 kV motors in uh, this two and a half inch build here, the Eclair V2, and that'll be coming up pretty soon. Um, the 7,500 kV motors I'm going to be putting into a two inch build. Uh, it's going to be the Tomo, Tomo Quad's um, Little Predator. That's that's the one I'm going to be putting that in. And I'll be running the Gemfan 2035 four bladed props on that one. And I'm pretty sure that even though they say this 7500 kV motor is only rated for 2S, it'll probably be fine on 3S because I run plenty of 1104 7500 kV motors on 3S without any problems on a 2 inch prop. Now the 4500 kV motors, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. Um, I'm thinking they might go for us, no problem, on two and a half inch. So if you guys have any suggestions on uh, what kind of a build I should put these in, uh, let me know in the comments below. But uh, the other two will be coming uh, up pretty soon, the Eclair V2 and the Little Predator. That's probably, uh, This is definitely coming up sooner. I don't have the Little Predator frame yet, but um, probably this within a week and maybe the Little Predator maybe a week after that. So. But looking for suggestions on what to do with this 1106 4500 kV motor, I'm uh, probably going to do 4S on that, so that should be pretty interesting. Anyway guys, uh, let me know if you guys have any questions about this video and about these motors, they're pretty cool. Uh, as I said, I don't really know when they're going to be out. Um, probably by the time this video is, is put out, uh, they'll probably be out, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.